All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this lighthouse. All right, the question of the day is, what is the most expensive lighthouse in the world? All right, today we're gonna do a painting of a lighthouse. All right, let's run through the colors. Cad yellow, primary yellow, Van Dyke brown, burnt sienna, queen red, pearly red, ultramarine blue, Quinn blue, phthalo green, Mars black, titanium white. First layer, we kind of laid in the sky. We got kind of a nice burp, um, dark, dark purple. We added some lighter blues. Um, we got to kind of layer that in there because these um, colors in the sky are going to be reflected in the water a little bit. So you got to kind of blend that together. I am using more of a turquoise to kind of make it look like water. So you're going to see the difference purple to blue. And over here, we have kind of the night sky. We got like that really nice light background. We're going to go in and layer that in there next layer once it's fully dried so we get all those nice stars kind of get pushed further and further back. And this lighter uh, stardust will kind of look like a different color. Hopefully we don't have too many hairs. Um, that first brush was kind of like, it's an older brush but it's just shedding like crazy. <laughs> Not a really good brush, maybe I switched that out. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I haven't touched in the um, lighthouse, I just left that. I painted up over the boundaries of where the lighthouse is going to go because I want to kind of keep that sky but at the same time when I kind of know where it lays and how that's going to feel out and we'll see where we go in the next layer after it's dry. All right, for the second layer, we kind of added in um, more of kind of a light glaze on top, a red and a blue, and we sprayed in again the stars. Uh, we're gonna have to coat that down again to kind of um, calm that down more darker in this area, less stars. We got some stars popping up here, so we need to you know thoroughly wipe those out and make sure we got some of the same colors. Um, I need to pull this kind of purplish blue into the <coughs> water below here, so it's reflecting the sky. And hopefully if this layer is done this time, then we can do the lighthouse, but I'm just waiting till that's completely, you know, really feels good and finished. And then we'll do that next layer. All right, for this layer, we're gonna add in a light uh, translucent layer on here to kind of push those stars back. We'll add a splash of white at the end to kind of brighten it up. Uh, we wanna have colors coming in through there. Maybe we'll change it up with green to kind of give that more punch. We gotta add some of these more colors in here, get rid of all the white spots and then start adding in I'm pretty sure this layer we're going to add in the lighthouse, so we'll see how it goes.
So the most expensive lighthouse in the world was St. George Reef outside of Crescent City in California. And it was the, basically the second lighthouse to be built on reef, which is extremely hard to build on. It's surrounded by sea and you have to ship everything in. When it's quiet seas, they could only build it during the spring, summer. And during the winter, they wouldn't build. And what would happen is um, the lighthouse would be weathered and uh, destroyed by the winter seas. So every, every spring, they spent a couple weeks just repairing what was done during the winter. And they got it repaired and then built it. Um, it took from 1882 to 1892, so 10 full years to construct and the cost was pretty expensive. It was $719,000 back in those days. So that's probably a couple million nowadays if, with inflation. So quite an expensive um, lighthouse. And eventually in, I think 1972, they dismantled it. I think they had radar and um, more advanced radar and cables and such. So they didn't necessarily need to upkeep the lighthouse as a functional lighthouse and they deconstructed it and reconstructed parts of it in Crescent City, California. And that's the most expensive lighthouse. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we got this really nice dark sky. I added that nice white highlight again to kind of capture that gas feel with that nice uh, brown to kind of contrast with the earlier purple layers. We got, um, I kind of skimmed over the sky Add in those dark marks again. A little highlight just on where the horizon sits. It's not realistic, but um, gives you a kind of nice balance. We added in kind of an orange red lighthouse to contrast with all the sea. Um, we added some really uh, splashy waves at the end that aren't in the photo, but that photo is more a time lapse. So to get the sky for the um, to get that sky for the time lapse, um, they had to use a time lapse to get the galaxy, but of course then the waves are flat. I brought back in a little bit more realistic waves where you'd have the choppy waves and you'd see the night sky with, um, as you would see it. So I think it kind of pulls it back together more realistic mode. However, with the naked eye, you really don't see galaxy, you just see stars. So um, I don't know how realistic it is, but. <laughs> I just thought it would look cool to combine a galaxy with an oceanscape and a lighthouse all in one. And I hadn't filmed any of my earlier lighthouses, so I thought that would be cool. Um, I think it looked, turned out pretty good. Um, I think I could have got the horizon a little straighter maybe, but overall I think it's pretty solid. And got some of those colors from the night sky, not a lot, but um, it looks more blue-green and then it has a, more of a rich blue in the top. But I, you know, I think I can live with that. Um, it does have a little bit of that blue in there, but not much. So you want that contrast, the green to the blue. You got that brown and the red. So you got really nice contrast, got nice centering with this lighthouse. Obviously there's an easy focal point. And at the same time you have this kind of nice um, galaxy crisscrossing the sky, which gives you a little bit of the motion to kind of zigzag up and down the, um, the painting. Um, I probably could have added more reflections from the waves to kind of reflect that um, the galaxy a little bit but I thought you know I don't know if you'd see the galaxy or not in the waves you might you might not because they would blur out so I decided to leave that and just add a couple spikes for waves and suggested the wave actions uh, hopefully you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe you can subscribe below and I'll see you on the next painting video thanks for watching guys